Hey everyone, Hunter here, or Forever Legacy Studios. Welcome to another LEGO Infinity War review. And in today's review, we have Thor's Weapon Quest. This is the second smallest set uh, in the uh, wave of six sets. It retails for $20, uh, ages 6 to 12, number is 76102. Name is Thor's Weapon Quest. And retails for 200, uh, not retails, has 223 pieces. Um... Again, this is the second smallest one. The smallest one of being the uh, Outrider Dropship Attack. Um, or like I call it, the Captain America Battle Pack. Um, so, this set comes with three figures. It has Thor, the new version of Thor, Groot, and Rocket. Uh, Rocket Raccoon. Now, I come, I these I two of these figures are exclusive, being Groot and Thor. Uh, the reason why I say Rocket is an exclusive is Braden has both this set and the uh, One Crazy Galaxy 2 set that comes with them. And he says they're identical. So I'm going to try and get uh, at some time get that small little battle pack set again, uh, with Rocket and all that. And make sure that this guy isn't exclusive. It is or isn't exclusive. But for the time of this video, I'm going to say he isn't. The two figures that are are Thor and Groot. Um, so before I get into the actual sets, I am going to show off the figures like normally. Uh, again, like it, like I said, comes with three figures, starting off with Thor. So Thor, like I said, of course, is exclusive. Uh, there's a new version of him. Um, so he looks really nice. I like the uh, lighted up. Uh, I can't remember what these are, but they're like platings. The circular platings on his chest. As you just saw that, that glistened on the uh, camera. Um, I really like it, how, uh, the uh, printing on that. The overall suit looks really nice. The printing on the back and the front word is really nice. I like the front one ba uh, better because when you shine in the light, these plates like light, uh, light up. It's really nice. Uh, my only problem with him is the legs are not printed, but that's something that it really isn't a bother. Uh, it comes with this hair, a new hair piece for him. Uh, now, another problem is his head is the same face. There's, he has a double-sided face. So you have this one with the lightning eyes, then this one with the plain grin. Now, the problem with this is, one, this is the same face from the Thor Ragnarok sets, which is fine. But, spoiler alert, he loses his eye. Um... I think it's his right eye he loses, this one right here. Um, so that it's kind of not accurate, being he does have an eye patch. Um, now, one reason probably that they didn't add the eye patch or anything like that is this is technically a kid's set or a kid's toy. Um, so they didn't want to have Thor have an eye patch. Uh, the problem is there is there's plenty of other minifigs with eye patches, um, including another Marvel character named uh, Nick Fury. So that's probably not a pr uh, not the reason. My guess is that um, Lego starts designing their sets before uh, uh, with concept art of the movie. So before the movie is actually finished and done and already released the trailer, it's just this is going by concept art. So I kind of I kind of understand maybe uh, in the concept art it didn't show Thor with one eye, uh, so I I guess I can live with that. Uh, he does come with a bunch of these new accessory parts. Um, it's down these new accessory parts for these character for these new hero sets. Um, so you can customize them. If this which just has the uh, handle stud you've also got this which is like a i don't i, I don't know what it's called this a power blast or something like that uh to make him his punches I, I don't even know um so that's it's a weird looking piece then of course you have the kind of a block or something like that some of these work for him some of these don't the blocking one, not really, just because the blocking one's kind of more Doctor Strange than, uh, than Thor. Then this one's a little bit more like him, just because he does shoot lightning. Uh, same as this guy. There's a 
just a smaller version of this. So that makes sense. And then these, these are all right. Um, these would be really nice for an Iron Fist set. These would be perfect for an Iron Fist set. Um, but he comes with those accessories. Uh, again, I'm not for sure what the full names of these are. So, but they do come in like every single Avengers, uh, well, not every single one, most of them, the ones that actually have powers. So, that, uh, whoops. So that is Thor. Next we have Groot, which is pro, other than Thor, this is my favorite figure out of this set. Uh, again, Groot is exclusive. I love the look of this version of Groot. Um, my main problem with the previous Groots and all that was the first one was way big. Of course, he was taller than the Guardians of the Galaxy, but he was so big that he was so oversized. Uh, then the baby Groot worked and all that, but it wasn't as cool as having a normal Groot. Where this one, yeah, it is supposed to be teenage Groot, but it it's a normal minifig size where it's I think it's a lot better. Um, he has this kind of... Uh, stem or something like that I, I don't know what's the purpose for that uh, he does have printing on his torso he's got some blackish green or dark green around the edges of his chest turn around he's got the same eh, just a plain print of his back same moss or dark green on the edges uh, no printed legs I would have liked it but that's okay uh, then the face is exclusive. Although, what would have been nice is if he came into another set and gotten a different variant of his face. He did have he does have a different variant on his face for the Air Force A keychain, but not for the actual set. Uh, then the final figure, of course, is Rocket Raccoon. Um, oh, oops. So here he is. Again, he isn't exclusive by the looks of him. Um, so, so he's basically the same one from the second movie, Crazy Galaxy Volume 2. Dark blue pants, dark blue chest with a few lightish dark brown, just brown uh, overalls. Uh, he comes with a, a kind of pistol, an upgraded pistol. An extended funnel. Uh, he has the one tail. And he's got the kind of grinish face. This face I like I, a lot. I like a lot better than the previous one. Or not the previous one. The uh, very first one. Just looks a lot nicer. So that is the figures. Um, here is the two parts of the set. Um, I might as well show you this one. First, this is the main part of the set. This is the uh, pod, uh, the Guardians pod. Um, now, this is uh, this also connects uh, can connect to the new Milano, uh, the or uh, the brand new orange one from FA Wars, and that's why this sticks out on uh, on its own. You, it looks a bit off, but it does serve a purpose where you can connect it to the back of it, and it makes it look a lot nicer, which is really cool in my opinion. Um, so here's the back, and back view of it, some sticker details, there's no printed piece in this whole set, uh, which I wish there was, a uh, bigger bulb piece, yeah, so sticker, 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 it, everything that you see that you think it might be a print is sticker, there's no stickers in this, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, one of the features other than this and the top coming off, it does have stud shooters and how it works is you push down and the stud goes flying. So that it, it's in there for a feature. Uh, taking another feature is taking the top off. It just plops off. It just is held in by these two parts. Um, you can lift the bulb, lift this one up, lift this one down. And you can fit all the characters in, which I'll show now. Uh, you're supposed to have rockets. I'm going to take his pistol or gun off. Because rocket is supposed to be like flying this thing, Groot's the one in the middle, and then Thor's supposed to be in the back. 
So, there's Rocket. He's supposed to be flying this thing. Um, Groot. And Groot's a bit harder to place in here. Um, I'll, I'll pause the video and show you what this looks like all together. Okay, and we're back. That way you didn't have to see me placing all the figures. So you do have to sit a uh, group down because you can't fit that on there. Now you can. Uh, Thor goes in the back. He's supposed to be looking out. There's Rocket piloting. I can put the top on. Um, one problem I do have is this kind of plops off a bit. Um... Sometimes it can, sometimes it can't, eh, it doesn't, so. So that is what the pod looks like with all the figures in, uh, pretty nice. So, take Thor out, because he's a big part of this next, um, scene. I'll just leave Rocket in there, he can just, he can just hide in the ship. Oh, you do also have to take the accessories off, uh, to fit everything in. So, um, here's the next part. This is the machine that creates uh, Stormbreaker, Thor's new hammer or weapon. Uh, this is the whole point of Rocket, Groot, and Thor's mission is to get him a new weapon. Um, it also comes, er, the Infinity Stone that comes in this set and the set alone is the Power Stone, which doesn't really make sense because this is going to be in a different area, but it's nothing to what no um so this one's fine uh it has its ah, whoops fell off uh it has its own pedestal like it uh, like normally um it doesn't want to fit in there we go apologize for that uh but the feature of this uh, other than looking a bit nice also these are stickers right here is you're supposed to make it seem like thor is putting electricity into this so you take like one of this put the camera down and you're supposed to make it seem like um making uh, making it look like thor is putting electricity in this that's another feature right here where you can make this spin um, what would have been really cool is if you made this spin, this actually started to slide out. That would have been a really cool feature, but it isn't. But that's not too big of a deal. So you're supposed to make it seem like it is uh, making a thing and then uh, making the weapon. And then you push it forward. It just slides across. It's really simple. And you take out Stormbreaker, which is Thor's brand new hammer. But in the comics, uh, Stormbreaker or... Um, I don't even know if that was the original name for it. Uh, it's actually better a Bill's hammer uh, in comics. So it's nothing too crazy. Uh, just a few uh, parts. You have a handle. You have a twig, a Lego twig. Uh, a one by one, er, one uh, stud piece right here. A axe piece. There, a axe part right there, and there you go. That's the hammer. It looks a lot nice. I like uh, the built uh, one, but I prefer Mjolnir. Stormbreaker is okay, but again, I prefer Mjolnir. So that is the set. Um, uh, it is definitely a good starter set. I mentioned this in the live stream, which I'll link that in the uh, description below if you want to check it out. Um... So, it is definitely, being it is the smallest set, or uh, second smallest set, uh, it isn't as cool as, like, say, the uh, Hulkbuster or the um, Sanctum Sanctorum or the Milano. Uh, but this is a great starter set. I think it is a, definitely a good, uh, uh, good one. If you're not for sure if you want to uh, buy any of these sets, but you're like, oh, well, I kind of want to test it out, see if I want to get any, and you want to spend a uh, little bit, a little amount of money on these this and then maybe the uh, outrider dropship attack is definitely a good starter set because one is smaller you're not spending too much this is 20 bucks um i think it is worth 20 dollars um although you could probably find it for 15 dollars at your local walmart um and if you do that definitely 
go for it. $15 is a much better price. Uh, but I think $20 is a fair price for this. So I think that's going to be it. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, definitely hit the like button as well as stay tuned for the other future reviews. And if you're, uh, let me know in the comment section below uh, how you like my Infinity War set reviews as well as um, what do you think of my live stream situation. So I think that's going to be it. If you're all new to this channel, definitely think about subscribing. And I'll think you, I think I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.